Now let's take a minute to talk about how to apply an airfoil file type to a specific cross-section in OpenVSP. So the airfoil file option is here in the type drop-down menu. And when we click on this, it's going to apply a simple elliptical section that's lofted through here with a certain thickness to chord ratio. So what it's really doing is applying a base T over C of one, which is a circle, but it's letting you alter the thickness to chord ratio based on whatever it happened to be beforehand. To get the airfoil file into the geometry, you click read file and you can pick either an AF or a DAT file. And that is going to allow you to read the points in and OpenVSP is going to spline between those points that you've given it and create the shape. So the file that I used here is the example Boeing 737 section C that comes distributed with OpenVSP. I'll try and remember and include a few examples in the example file download that you all can pull from the website. And notice that it lofted everything, it set a new base thickness to chord ratio, and the manual control of thickness to chord ratio is set to be equal to that. But if you want, you are more than welcome to come in here and alter the thickness to chord ratio, which is something that you couldn't do previously. This is a new feature in VSP. So it may be that you have an airfoil that you want to experiment with, but you want to alter the thickness to chord ratio, say to do a trade study. Well, rather than create dozens or even hundreds of airfoils to have a certain thickness to chord ratio that's based on the same profile, you can adjust it with one parameter in VSP, which makes it very, very quick and easy to use. Now, notice that there are a few other things that you can do with this. Say you read in an airfoil file, but you want to alter it somehow. You can, of course, fit a class shape transformation to this, which we'll discuss in a different video. But you can come in and give it, say, a DAT file instead. So these are two, and there's actually three different uh, formats that go with these files, which we'll talk about in a different video with references, etc. But for the time being, that is how you can select and apply and alter an airfoil file type in OpenVSP.